alchemist astrologer and this is your April forecast for Libra Sun, Libra Rising, and Libra Moon. So Libra, you are represented by the Two of Swords and the Queen of Coins. So there is a dilemma to be faced and perhaps it ties to an earth sign person. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, or just the traits of the queen are important. So there is a decision to be made where you may feel conflicted. Maybe you're trying to figure out if you want to turn your back on this queen. You may be at odds with her. You may be having some inner turmoil in relation to her. Uh, you may be instigating some kind of conflict or she may be doing that or trying to make some peace, but you may not have all of the facts or maybe you don't trust your intuition and you're not listening to it. This is a queen who wants answers and maybe you're looking for answers from your partner. You need to make a decision. You need some bottom line answers about something. What kind of solution? And you may find yourself either very attached uh, very supportive, very loyal, very protective of your partner, or you may feel at odds where your partner is starting to work your nerves and where perhaps you even become uh, opposed to something in connection to your partner. Now this may have to do with friendships, uh, your friendship relation with your partner, uh, maybe a friend is impacting your relationship, but you may be looking at your partner to figure out if you are of like mind. Because there is an issue of falsity where either you or the partner may be presenting a false face. There's a persona uh, being put out there that's not necessarily authentic. It could be that there's some type of agenda at play here or uh, somebody may be acting like they have your best interest at heart when that's not necessarily the case. That could be you or that could be somebody you're involved with. This could be somebody where you're wondering, again, is this a false friend? Is this a liar, an opportunist? Uh, or your, your uh, partner or this queen could be looking at you and wondering, look at her expression. She's not very trusting. So she's really going to take stock of whatever is being told to her. This is also about making plans, planning, organizing, because this is a queen who's, you know, very business oriented, very career minded, and she's capable of producing, of cultivating things, growing things, whether that's a child, a family, a business. She's very protective of those around her. But the issue could be, the dilemma may be that she oversteps her boundaries. She's trying to tell you what to do and how to manage something and why it should be that way. And those on her decisions to make. And maybe she's telling you that she's doing it for your benefit when really there's an ulterior motive or vice versa. Now, your partner is represented by this three of wands and the tower. So there could be some surprising discussions. Uh, maybe you have a focus on purchasing some property in the future. And, you know, maybe there's some confrontations or arguments that you're having with, with regard to future plans. Or maybe you're gaining some insight, some psychological and emotional breakthroughs. You're having, maybe you're feeling pressure to discuss something. Maybe your partner is, you know, pressing you to give some answers or vice versa. So you could be having some very spirited interactions and you're having to, you know, this is either your partner or the influence that they're having on you. So this could be a disruptive period where you're having to make some adjustments, some changes. Now, some of you, maybe you're suddenly falling in love. Maybe this is like a lightning bolt. You feel attached to this person. There's some sparks, some sexual chemistry. But more often than not, this is a separative quality. 
you're maybe trying to make a decision about whether you should turn your back on this person because maybe you're involved in something where you're thinking about getting a divorce or separating or you're at odds and maybe there's some discussions where you've been put off guard your partner has said something that is shocking to you or surprising or you're issuing some statements Maybe this is about being free, being liberated, or livening up the connection where maybe it's gone stale, where you didn't even recognize that this was a part of you that had died or the relationship had. So some surprising changes are taking place, and it's always advised with the major cards that you get on board, that you start to reorganize, that you let go of aspects of a partnership or circumstance that is no longer serving you, where you've been clinging and holding on, and yet it's not for your highest good. And in fact, something may be taken from you. So you may be making some changes. Now, something may be occurring in the relationship through trauma or stress or crisis. Perhaps this is surgery, or perhaps this is some kind of hardship or a separation, or you could be something where you're just changing your life around. Maybe you're going to move somewhere overseas, or you're going to move to another location, or you're going to change your job or change your residence. So something surprising and yet unsettling, perhaps shocking, is occurring, but you're getting some breakthroughs, uh, psychological or emotional breakthroughs about the one, the partner, the one that is the quintessential uh, connection where this person possesses all of the traits, the qualities that are important to you. So there's some kind of breakthrough. Perhaps you're gaining an understanding about what the perfect partner would be or how to be a perfect partner or whether someone is. You may be shocked that maybe somebody you thought was the one is not the one. So there's some breakthroughs in store that may be coming through a partner. Now your romance is characterized by the Ten of Coins and the Eight of Coins. So you may be working on something. You want to work toward building something of permanence and stability, something that will last into the future. This is connecting to that perfect partner and you could see yourself spending a lifetime with this person. This is marriage material. And so you may be working to establish something uh, where you have a family, where you buy a home, where you uh, create some security for the both of you. And you may be putting a lot of effort in moving up the ladder of success, working on something. Maybe you're working on a home. Maybe this is, maybe you're restoring a home together. Uh, so you are working on improving something, improving yourself, perhaps, improving your connection, your relationship. But you could also be falling back in a rut. Your partner may be shaking things up because you're doing the same thing over and over and over. You're stuck in a routine, you're having the same conversations, nothing new is going on, and this is just what comes second nature to you. Maybe you're not even putting forth the effort. You're not even trying to go above or beyond or the romantic gestures or to take care of your physical self, or perhaps that's your partner. And there could be a lot of criticism taking place, some nitpicking. Somebody is so focused on the, you can't see the forest for the trees. This is wrong, that's wrong, you could do this better, and so on and so forth. So, you know, it, maybe your uh, history of, of work is important, or, you know, maybe the history of your relationship, this trying to make some gains. But there's an opportunity for some kind of renewal, something that uh, creates some positive change. It's an opportunity that arrives. But the catch is that you have to take the initiative. You have to open that door. And maybe that's the dilemma. You, you met somebody that took you aback and you're like, this is the person. And maybe it didn't go anywhere, or you separated, or you need some answers, or you're trying to figure it out. So you're having to make a decision. You get some answers. Is this the right partner for me? Is this the right situation? Now, what is the problem? The problem is this Temperance card and Queen of Cups. So we have perhaps Sagittarius influence 
and water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, or just the traits of this queen. The Temperance card says, again, you're looking at issues of compatibility. Uh, maybe you were testing the waters. You're not really sure of what you want. And you're learning lessons that center around having to compromise. You're also looking at procrastination. Timing is important in your situation. So perhaps uh, this is about striking that balance, finding the middle ground, the yin and the yang, complementary energies with one another. So you, you may be reconciling some differences, especially if you were trying to decide whether you wanted to turn your back on somebody or they were indeed the one, whether you wanted to take this opportunity to work on your relationship, to renew it. You're having to make some uh, compromises, and it's important at this time that you have an honest discussion. So that means putting everything out there on the table, looking at where maybe things are off, agreeing to disagree, to come together to work out your differences, and where either one of you may have been going too far with something, too excessive, too extravagant, spending too much money, being too open, too free, too sexual, too demanding, whatever it is, too jealous, whatever it is, this is a time to speak your truth and work out your differences. And somebody may be procrastinating to do that. Now, the Queen of Cups is this nurturing, loving influence where somebody is going too far. They're, um, maybe they're unduly influenced. That could be you or your partner. You're trying to influence them or they're trying to influence you. Uh, and you're having difficulty striking the balance of compromise. Now, the queen in her most positive, of course, is very sensitive, intuitive. She can tap into your feelings. You feel comfortable with her. She may be difficult to know. She's a good listener, and yet there's a mystique surrounding her. You may feel like you never quite truly know who she is. But in the negative, she is emotionally manipulative. She may be passive aggressive. She may be a victim. She may be an enabler. Uh, so she doesn't have mastery over her emotions or the circumstances. She may be devious in her emotions. She may be unfaithful. Uh, so you, you may be trying to heal something. Maybe this ties to maternal issues or being nurtured or supported or loved. And the issue is this emotional balance, trying to align what you feel inside with the environment, what's going on. So you may be trying to balance your emotions and you have this issue of excess going too far, uh, you know, pushing just a little bit too much, whether those are boundaries or you're, you know, saying things and then, ah, oh, I shouldn't have said that. You know, this is related to Sagittarius, and that's a very frank, blunt, honest sign that I can appreciate. But sometimes they say things and you're like, wow, you couldn't have phrased that a different way. So perhaps you're trying to maintain some kind of emotional balance and find that compromise, and it, maybe it centers on your faith, your belief system, your values, whether you have faith in something, whether you believe, you know, together, because this, you, you had this card about being like-minded. Uh, you know, are we on the same page? Do we share the same faith, the same beliefs? Somebody may be more caught up in the material, or you know some other something extravagant or self-indulgent and maybe the other of you is more spiritual maybe there's a lack of spirituality so you're trying to find balance now the underlying energy what's at the root of this what's the energy that's driving everything is this nine of, of coins so again some of you may be looking at the one this can be a card of the secret admirer you know either you or the other person. There could be somebody that thinks, wow, this is somebody that's really got it going on. They're intelligent, they've got culture, they're attractive, they're funny. They're the total package. 
but they may not be aware that you feel that way or they may be unavailable or that could be you. Somebody's viewing you that way. This could also be the wife or the mistress and there could be issues of being kept or cared for or taken care of. So it, issues may center around that for you. This is also about Maybe you prefer your own company, or maybe the partner does. Uh, you know, this is somebody who has the time, perhaps the money, the inclination to do what they want to, and they're happy on their own or by, they, by themselves. So some of you, the issue may be that either you or the partner is too self-contained. You really don't need anybody else. You got everything at your fingertips, and maybe there's some emotional uh, closing off. And it's time to be more open, more frank, more honest. Uh, this could also be where somebody is wanting to get some kind of recognition for their qualities. And it's possible that that's going to happen for you. Uh, this is a fortunate card that means you may be having some fortunate business or social or romantic opportunities cross your path. Something may be tied to family connections or social opportunities or business things that pay off for you. Maybe there's some real estate investment. Maybe you're going to buy this property or you're going to inherit a property. You may be getting some kind of recognition for the effort that you put into something. Your perseverance uh, is going to pay off for you. But for others of you, uh, you, you know, you may be seeking independence, self-sufficiency, or your partner is. For some of you, though, this is a card about something gone wrong. Uh, you may be hearing some gossip, some unkind accusations, true or not. They may be directed at you, and your first impulse may be, to retaliate, I mean, that's not right. You, you know, somebody was wearing a false face. You're not really my friend. You're not really supportive of me. But in your circumstance, it may be best just to let something ride to go above. That may work out better for you because what this card is really saying is for you to reevaluate where you are investing uh, your time as far as amusement and as far as entertainment, uh, maybe you're being a little bit excessive. You're having to look at who you get involved with, where you're putting your money, where you're spending your time, how you're playing, how you're getting involved with lovers, who you're connecting to, and what is it costing you? Because ultimately, it may be costing you more than it's worth. For some of you, again, this is somebody that you really admire but maybe haven't been able to get close to for whatever reason. You may be searching for some kind of adventure uh, and you're going to be getting some new perceptions. Maybe there's a need to wake up to something or to broaden your horizons to try something new. And maybe it ties to your memories of this person, a memory that you can't let go of. It's difficult for you to move on. Now, your advice card is, I reap the bounty of love when I commit. Now, that's interesting because you're the sign of partnership. You're the sign of decision making. And yet, frequently, Libra has an issue with that because they're constantly weighing the odds. They want to strike that balance, and sometimes they end up never making a decision because they keep going over the pros and cons of each path. And so for some of you, again, maybe there was something, you know, you saw that was attractive to you, something that you may have had potential, but it's going to be up to you to work toward creating that opportunity, opening the door, and you reap the benefits when you actually step in and commit yourself, or perhaps that's your partner. Now, the outcome is this King of Wands and the Ace of Coins. This is fire energy. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. There could be an opportunity to take charge, some kind of windfall or helping hand, maybe you putting in that hard work to reap the benefit. Something may open up for you. 
it could be that you're going to meet somebody because you made some changes. Maybe this is somebody that you meet at work or somebody that you meet because you made some changes. You went in late one day or you took a different route or you stopped in where you normally don't go and lo and behold, some opportunity falls in your lap. You want to take charge of a situation and take charge of an opportunity, but maybe you're deciding whether you want to turn your back on an opportunity. It could be that somebody isn't delivering what they've promised. Now, for some of you, you know, uh, this is about this focus on the physical. Maybe somebody's getting carried away with that, or the material. There's a focus on the sexual experience, how attractive someone is, how much money do they have, their social status, how do they reflect back on me and vice versa. So there could be, again, where you're looking at falsity in the connection. And so there's something that, there's some opportunity, maybe it's something celebratory, some kind of occasion, or maybe there's an opportunity to travel. And you may be having an intense experience where you end something or you renew it or change it. Uh, it could be that something in your relationship changes and it now looks totally different. Now, for some of you, this may come through the form of some kind of crisis, maybe sexuality, some intense experience. Maybe it has to do with a large sum of money that somehow impacts your relationship and changes it. But there's an opportunity to either renew or end something. Now, some of you, again, you've developed this sudden attraction for somebody. And maybe you're going out of your way. You're going to open that door and take the opportunity to get their attention. But for others of you, you're going to have this breakthrough where you realize that even though there was some intensity between the two of you at one time, or you were very much attracted, perhaps that relationship, due to the effort involved, has simply fizzled out. It's burning you out trying to keep this fire going, and maybe eventually the relationship has burned out. Now, you have two major cards, the Tower and Temperance. And so, you know, this is about compromising, reorganizing some, thing, some things, making that necessary change. And perhaps timing is an issue. If you hesitate, you may lose the prize. And you have two queens in here. And so these queens are very much concerned with some kind of either a discussion or a transaction or a purchase, maybe somebody seizing the moment or seizing the opportunity where somebody else misses out. Uh, and the King of Wands is concerned with this dilemma, taking charge of the uncertainty, the decision, or maybe he's taking charge of some kind of conflict. Maybe he's mediating between these two people. Or he's creating some kind of, uh, you know, um, conflict between two people. Now, this is about a friend or an acquaintance or perhaps a rival or conflicting needs. With the Queen of Cups, this is emotion, sensitivity. And the Queen of Pentacles is practical. So you may be trying to balance the emotional side with the practical side of yourself. Uh, it's also about a choice among lovers. Somebody, you or the other person, maybe they do have all these, this star quality and they can choose who they want. They may feel like you know they're inaccessible to you or vice versa. So there could be some competition, competition for favors. It could be some rivalry, some jealousy. Uh, or it could be that you know somebody's, there's some multiple ways of acting or attitudes towards someone. And then we get back to this falsity. Is somebody wearing a mask? Are they saying this when they're with you, but then when they're over here, they're acting like this? So you're having to sift through some things. And you're doing this review. You may be having discussions or taking charge of discussions or transactions of some sort. 
and it may have to do for some of you with property, with business, uh, with exploring something where perhaps there's been some rigidity. Somebody's been very protective of themselves. Again, very self-contained. They don't want to rock the boat. Maybe they're very conservative. Uh, you know, maybe their values are different from yours. And so that becomes an issue. Some of you, maybe, you know, there's something tied to finance that impacts the relationship. Whatever it is, this is a time for you to cautiously explore. And remember, you reap the bounty when you commit. So somebody may be either closed off emotionally, maybe they're trying to protect their heart, trying to protect their assets, but maybe somebody's being overly cautious. Uh, there could be a tie to a Capricorn. Somebody is ultra conservative or very dogmatic in their opinions, very stuck, very rigid. And so this may be, you know, pushing the envelope a bit, maybe letting the guard down somewhat is important. Uh, your challenge is your ambition. What's driving you to do something? What is it that you want to accomplish? What do you want to manifest? Can you commit to it? You're doing this review. Some opportunity. Do I want to join forces? Do I want to travel? Do I want to, uh, you know, broaden my horizons in some way? So there are opportunities that you have to initiate and open the door to that may be related to job, changing your residence, traveling, uh, connecting with another person or simply proving yourself, proving a point, uh, clearing yourself if need be, if there's been some lies or some gossip. Whatever this is, it's about choice. There's some ups and downs, some ebb and flow to a situation, and this is likely something that's coming back around that you're having to deal with and give some more thought to, this dilemma about being supported or being influenced. And there's also a focus on work and productivity, your creativity, your fertility. So producing something. And you may be having discussions, getting some bottom line answers about that. So there are going to be some ambitious developments for you this month, some changes in the plan. And your belief system, your values, what you put faith in, is either going to be rewarded or it's going to be challenged in some way. Uh, your understanding is going to change. You're likely to get whatever it is that you want, although whatever you obtain, whatever you get, it's going to change how you look at life. It's going to change your understanding, your perspective. And you have the opportunity to repair something or improve it or to clarify an aspect in how you relate, uh, what your commitments are, and how efficiently they are unfolding or performing for you. This is a time where maybe you're experiencing some form of drama. You're trying to make the impossible happen. And you have the ability to do that, or it's going to, whatever is going on in your life is going to trigger some kind of conflict of interest between your head and your heart, your logic and your emotions. And so getting back to committing, uh, striking that balance, making some decisions are going to be very important for you this month. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed this reading. And make some positive changes in your relationship. Create a love revolution.